Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Jonah and this is my 2006 Nissan 350Z. Today I'm going to give you guys a build breakdown of the 350Z and everything I've done to it over the past four years. I actually just hit the four year mark with this car, so it's come a long way for sure and I'm really excited to show you guys what I've done to it. All right, so I'm going to start with the exterior of the car. Uh, first and foremost, I have the front bumper, which is a Nismo V2 style front bumper. It's not the authentic one because um, they're really, really hard to find, but I bought it from a friend who used and the fitment turned out pretty good on it. For headlights, we have the Depot headlights, black housing. Um, honestly, the Clear coat on them is not the best, if you can really see, but it's kind of hard to pick up on camera. I like the black housing headlights. I bought the car with some pretty crappy ones, and these are definitely a better alternative for me instead of the ones that went out whenever I bought the car. So I have a uh, Shine Auto V3 Nismo side skirts, and then I also have the Shine Auto V3 Nismo style rear bumper. And for my spoiler or wing, whatever you want to call it, it is the Drift Dial X Duckbill. There is no hardware that I use on it. I just use double-sided tape all the way around it. And fitment's honestly pretty good. Some people will mold these into the body, or some people We'll actually use hardware to screw these in, but I'm not a big hardware guy, so I just 3M taped it. And it's held on pretty well for the uh, past, I want to say like eight months that I've had it on. And shout out Zwood Garage, you can follow him on Instagram. For the rest of the exterior, we have my Volk TE 37s. Uh, they're 18 by 10 and a half plus 15 squared. And then you have 275, 35 up front, and then 285, 35 rear. So that's gonna wrap up the exterior of the build. We're gonna go over into the engine bay now. It's nothing too crazy. Um, I just have a couple bolt-ons, a tune of course from Dynasty, and a couple more things that I'll go over with you in a second. All right guys, moving on to the engine bay here. For the performance, I just have a Z1 half inch plenum spacer. I have the NWP 75 mil throttle body, and then I have a Z1 long tube intake. Yeah, that's really about it for performance here. And then I do have a tune from Dynasty as well. We're making 268 wheel horsepower, and then I'm honestly not too sure on the torque. I kind of forgot off the top of my head. And so that's all for the engine bay, but for the exhaust, Exhaust, I do have HR headers. I swapped the DE ones out for HR because they are actually more of a header style. Yeah, HR headers. I have Motordyne art pipes for the test pipes. And then I have a custom Y pipe that's titanium. Um, I'm unsure of the brand, bought that from a friend as well. And then I have a Tomei catback as well. Doesn't sound too bad. Um, it can get a little raspy in the low end if you're really stepping on it, but I'm really happy with the exhaust and it does shoot flames. I might even put in a video of it right now for you guys. <laughs> There's two things I forgot to mention with my mods, and I actually did add in a Z1 motor mount and a Z1 transmission mount. It definitely helps stiffen up the engine and kind of make it more responsive under load, so I definitely recommend doing it if you wanted to get a little more responsiveness out of your engine. And moving on from the engine bay, um, we'll talk about the suspension now. Um, for the coilovers, I have BC Racing Extreme Low Coilovers. If I had to do it over again, I probably wouldn't have gone with Extreme Lows because I'm not wanting to be that low right now. I'm actually almost maxed out on the height for the fronts for height, so it doesn't give you too much height if you wanted to raise it up a bit. And then I have Z1 camber arms, toe arms, and traction arms, all those done about a year ago. I also have Z1 upper front control arms. Those were put on at the same time as the rear arms, so I can adjust my camber and all that as well. And that's about all that I've done for the suspension of the car. All right, to go over my interior with you guys, I have the Alpine ILX W650 head unit. I also had a custom shift boot from Stitch Boots made for me. Um, it's a black Alcantara with white stitching. And then I also have the white Mishimoto weighted shift knob. I couldn't recommend any other shifter more than this one because it's really, really nice. My steering wheel and seats are stock right now. I do have a steering wheel about to get onto the car. I just haven't installed it yet. So that's going on really soon promise. And that's about it for the interior, honestly. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up this build video on the 350Z today. If you do have any questions on the build, just be sure to leave them down in the comments below. I will be happy to answer them for you. Um, you can find more pictures, videos, or any content that I post on Instagram. I post regularly on Z33 Jonah. So yeah, be sure to give it a follow and drop a like if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Peace.